Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Quadrilateral Cowboy. Unfortunately, I just had a, a hard crash in the game and it corrupted the video file that I was recording to, so we missed a little bit of stuff, but we can go back in the career and do that. And uh, as you can rest assured, I am not a quadrilateral cowboy genius, so it shouldn't have set us back too much in terms of enjoyment. But uh, let's go to job select here. As you can see, we're actually like a little bit over uh, halfway through the game here. How you doing, Luke? 37 deck commands entered? Well... Still better than Bear Taffy, I suppose, but geez. 793 deck commands entered. It's like persons thrown via launcher, 116. Come on, guys. Let's take a little time off work here. Do something, you know, for me. Add to the social experience of the game. So we're going to do um, Rooftop Moving Day, which is basically where we left off. Basically, I finished the last mission. You're going to be like, why are we holding a minigun? That's valid. That's a valid, you know, question to have for yourself. Um... As soon as we finished the last mission, I touched the chalkboard. These robots came in and started attacking. We didn't actually get agency over attacking them. We just, um, you know, had like a, a little bit of a blackout. And then when we came to, this was the situation. So that's what you're missing out on here. And this is just some story stuff. Um, I don't want to insult it and say, you know, just some story stuff. But you know what I mean. We're going to light this place up. And then we're going to move on to uh, learning about one of the more interesting mechanics I've seen in the game. And really, the only mechanic I've seen in the game that you have not, as of this moment, assuming you're following along with the playthrough here, um, is uh, simultaneous objectives here. So this is our multi-sim primer that'll teach us something. Um, basically, if I go back here, let's let's exit. If I go back here, we're on this sweet-ass airship now, and we can be like, you know what? Planet Earth never did shit for us! And just kind of toss stuff over, and hopefully that hits a bad person and not a good person. Um... We can also leave, you know, some sticky notes, as you might expect. Bear Taffy, please, I'm so lonely. You never write me anymore. Winky P. All right. Um, but now there's uh, multiple roles, and we play all the roles. There's uh, Kaser, Enginani, and Greaser. The Greaser is very agile. The Enginani has a lot of gadgets, and the Kaser is uh basically plays the role of surveillance so essentially the uh the caser is just gives you an overview of things they take pictures of the objectives that you're gonna have to deal with like this one up here for example our objective here is just to require or sorry acquire three keys so all we have to do is uh go here and we also have uh, access to all of the gadgets that the other units will have and all the abilities that they have to kind of tell those units what to do in the future but Come down here. We can slip through this thing under the door because we got some jelly bones. Take a picture of that. We can jelly bones through here. This is a special ability of the greaser. Malleable loose leaf dinoskeleton. And then, now that we've uh, scoped the place out, we can start it out as the uh, Enginani here. Grab one key. And then uh, come down here. Crack this saw. And then we can't climb that. You need to be uh, the greaser to ultra climb. So we're going to hit Alt F4. We're going to spawn into the game as the greaser. We're going to grab the key. And then we should see the Enginani spawn in. As you can see right there. And she's going to throw the saw on this thing. So we can get in there. And in this way we're kind of like... We're, we're playing like a single player version of Monaco at the moment. You know? Oh, can we? you think we can make that jump? Broke my legs, that's alright. Um, we have like different classes with different abilities. But we can use them all in conjunction with one another. And basically, as of right now, you have seen as much as I've seen. So there we go. It only took us a couple of minutes here. We caught back up. Um, we are uh, now going to start the actual job. 42 seconds, I'll take it. Doesn't bother me. Sanity check that and we load into the actual mission. That was just a, a little bit of the game's way of doing some tutorialization and being like this is the moment where shit just got real. Alright, Repulse Bay impound lot. We have to get the Farfig. I don't know what that means. It sounds like it may be Swedish or something. It may be nothing at all. So we're going to start. We're going to need the Enginani. Crack into that. And we come down here. I don't think there's any other way to go. We're gonna use our door jaw, which actually it keeps the door open for one minute. Then we're gonna come in here. All right. I think we gotta saw through that, but we can also jelly bones through this. Take a picture of that. I think that's the thing we're trying to capture, but I'm not sure. 
Get jelly bones over here. Just trying to see, like, there's two other things we have to take photos of. But I don't know how we get down there to actually take photos of them. I don't know if you can no-clip in this mode either. So remember, that thing only stays open. Can we access the data jack here? Oh, we can. Tower activate. Yeah, do so, please. Now, what does this actually do? Seems to stay activated, at least. Oh, then we can come out. Grab a photo of that. Another data jack. I mean, pretty soon the door jaw's gonna close, but... Slot 4 open. So, I gotta be honest with you, slightly confused about the situation. The last thing we have to take a photo of is inside of here. This is the far fig? Is it a boat? I'm very confused. We saw through it. Objective complete. Objective complete. Go to the extraction point. Okay, it is like a it's a space boat with skis. That's kind of cool. So you got all that? <laughs> we're going to try to we're going to try to do it now. All right. So step one, you know, we got to do this. And then that's going to open. We got to open this door. And then we got to crack into this. And then I believe we're going to have to turn off this laser. All right. Let's try this again. It stays off for longer than I would have thought, actually. Okay, so now we come back. Let's play as the greaser. And we want to wait for the Engine Nani to get up to its business here. All right. So Engine Nani comes down. Remember, we're working with ourselves here. If I had the chance, I'd ask the world to dance because I'm just working with myself. You think I don't know that that's a person's back? Don't be ridiculous. Okay, so get ready for the jelly bones here. She's going to saw this. Turn off the laser, we data jack, we data jackers now. Climb out. Thank God for that ultra climb. Excuse me, I need to jelly bones myself out of the situation, thank you. We need to get up there somehow. Do we need to take the engine Nani out? 30 seconds, that's that's still tons of time. Oh, we can, we can still make it up this thing. Um, we need to data jack into this. Open the slot, break our legs, then we need to be the Gunjanani again. Oh my god, sorry, the <laughs> Enjanani again. Okay. We need to leave, we need to leave. Because we need to saw through the stuff. We got 36 seconds, there's still plenty of time. I gotta be honest with you, still a little bit uh, loose on like some of the incidentals of what we're dealing with here. Seems like she's up there. There's the data jack. Oddly exhilarating though. We did it! Okay, well that was like not as tough as I thought it would be. Sanity check, execution, get paid. Shopping expedition. Just for that, that was like baby's first mission right there. Way easier than that uh, woodworm one that I struggled with ad infinitum. Return of the Farfig. Still looking blocky. No question about that. Look, I'm not touching this thing, okay? Let somebody smarter than myself deal with that. How's it going, team? We're gonna, we're gonna install some oil here. Don't even worry your pretty little head about it. I'll click on anything that can be clicked on up here. Okay, I've broken the ship forever. Real, real, real sorry about that. Uh, what about you? You seem to be the quest giver in many situations here. Try not to, you know, create a black hole on yourself or anything like that. I'm guessing we have to take this. All they trust me with is changing the oil. And hopefully you can just make like another cap or something out of some duct tape or anything you got lying around, I'll take it. 
Hey. Oh, there it is right there. Lucky me. This is why I don't work on my own car. I wouldn't know what to do, you know? All right, problem solved. We're good to go. Hey. Are we good to go, though? Probably shouldn't leave flammable oil just sitting inside of this thing. Well, let's go back to the workbench. There might be some other stuff that we can uh, interact with here. What is this? It's an oil filter. <coughs> just uh, pop this bad boy right in anywhere. I think it's how oil filters work. You just shove it in a hole. Maybe you just push this button. Guess it maybe you can go underneath it somewhere now. No? Okay. You know what? Might have to go back to that user manual temporarily. I don't know what I did with the oil can. Replace oil filter. Drain oil. Remove the bottom side maintenance hatch to access the oil pan. Drain oil. Return the bolt. Replace the oil filter. Okay, that's easier said than done because, you know, I lost the oil filter here. But Okay, grab this. Where the heck? Is this the maintenance panel? It's too much like real life right now. Oh, there we go. Maintenance panel. Sure, good enough. Get this thing out of here. Get that thing, yeah, drain that oil. You're gonna put this thing right in there. Just, oh, careful. Just screw that bad boy back in. This thing's gotta go back up. This thing's gotta go back just like that. Problem solved, right? Problem solved? It works! Hey, don't leave without me, guys. Yes, hello. Somebody's at the door. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. you looks like you got a problem with your uh, onboard maintenance panel. If you could just let me get up there and... Uh... Here, we're just gonna throw it in. That did not work. This is just like we did that college road trip, only our car wasn't called Farfig. It was called the Rust Bucket. Abuelito truck job. Tell you, don't get one of those in the red light district. You might not come back the same person you were from whence you came. Objective, put the vault onto the Farfig. Highway, truck, vault, Farfig. Couldn't have drawn this diagram better myself. We gotta get the vault from here to here. Bear Taffy, you hear that? We gotta... BT. Can I call you BT? Take the vault from here. Enter. Blink. And apply it to here. No worries, dude. Just looking at your stats, and I thought, like, maybe you might need a little bit of help with the game. Let's take a look at what we're looking at. Oh my god, we got everything. Alright. Uh, this is the Farfig. This is the truck. We're gonna drop a launcher. That's gonna allow us to land on the truck. Do we have two launchers? Yes, we do. A snap photo of that bad boy. How do we deal with that? You gotta be the, uh... Yeah, you have to be the... Enginani. You got 35 seconds from whence you enter. Oh god, where have I gone? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Enter. Enter slowly. Then we got some jelly bonesy type situation. You're gonna jelly bones. You're gonna jelly bones. You're gonna unscrew this stuff. Oh my god. 
You're gonna have to go a little faster than I'm going. This is... Honestly, can I be honest with you? I think this might not be that hard. So we got the engine Nani. She's gonna come over here. She's gonna do that. We gotta, we gotta change this ever so slightly. There we go. And I feel like, honestly, we should put a launcher, like, here that just takes you back to the ship. Sorry, back to the far fig. Let's just make sure this actually works. Oh, too far! Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. We're gonna lower the yaw on that a little bit. No, that's bad as well, because it just throws us into the other launcher. There's nothing we can really do about it. In fact, we may have to completely restart here. No, 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 okay. This is less that it throws us into the other launcher's path, more than it actually throws us into the launcher. We just gotta get ourselves in a position where we can actually land the vault on, on this thing. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Okay, so then, once you've done that, you're gonna come over here. We should probably restart just so it doesn't take a hundred years. So you know what? I'm thinking actually, why don't you start back here? Throw this bad boy down. You gotta do it like that. Now, you're gonna go over, and you're gonna put the saw down here, and then you're gonna throw the launcher. Because really, there's no reason that the other dude, the greaser, shouldn't be doing this shit while you're doing your thing. Alright, then. We're gonna go back, we're gonna play as the Greaser. Now the Greaser is gonna stand here and is gonna wait for you to place the launcher and use the saw. We should probably, in my opinion, wait for the saw, or the launcher to be adjusted as well. Beautiful. Alright, what do we do when we get in there? It's all jelly bones as far as the eye can see. Non-stop jelly bones in action. So get in, get low, jelly. Jelly, jelly. You gotta unscrew this thing. This is the value of reconnaissance. A failure to plan is a plan to fail. What the heck are we supposed to do about this thing? Oh, d open it! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is where our other launcher goes. I've made a terrible mistake. We ride together, we die together. Dogs for life. You gotta admit, that surfing would have been pretty cool. Okay, so we, we basically need to restart. Because we can't use two launchers. No, full, full lawn restart. Okay. Launcher. So, launcher one, we might as well just place here. Well, let's hold up. Gotta aim this, like, higher. Fantastic. Good job. That might be a little too high. You actually, like, hit the ceiling at times there, but that's okay. Then we switch. Okay. Become the greaser that you want to see in the world. I spawned literally on top of the launcher. Basically ended my own life there. Good enough! Alright, now we wait for the... Enginani to come over here. She hit the, her head on the overpass, but as long as the saws still work, that's the only thing that matters. 30 seconds. Plenty of time, my dear. Plenty of time. Unscrew this. No, unarm. Thank you. Thank you. Come down here. Open this bad boy. Then we're going to kick this thing down here. Still plenty of time. Don't even worry about it. Plenty of time. Now we switch back to the engine on it. We get like 30 extra seconds. We're gonna get ready to throw the launcher down, and then we're just gonna plan it properly, and we're both gonna get to the exfiltration spot, and it's gonna be the world's greatest heist. Come on, there, jelly bones, getting a little ridiculous with the inability to get your shit out here. She can't. She's not kicking it anymore. Ah, F F4, go back, be the greaser. Maybe the greaser's gotta kick it harder? I, I honestly don't know. 
I hope the launcher's just set up properly. It worked! Oh god. Excuse me? Excuse me, though? It's because I stepped on the launcher. Okay, I mean... Alarms, catastrophic failures, it's not really that, you know, amazing of us. I think we might want to restart here. Hey, just like restart proper. F4 first. Engine on. I, I know we're done the contract. We can move on to another puzzle. We've solved it. But would you be happy just doing the bare minimum? Bare minimum pieces of flare? I'm not happy doing the bare minimum pieces of flare here. We could totally do better than this. So you come over here. You're gonna shake this thing, Miss Annabella. There you go, you're gonna crack into that, and then you're gonna wait. We're gonna swap. We're gonna do this without any catastrophic failures, okay? There you go, you got it. Just wait it out a second. It's better to not die, and thus not suffer the ridiculous time penalty. Now we're gonna jelly bones the Christ out of this. Good job, all right. Crack into that, crack into that. I think we're doing better, honestly. There you go, okay, now we're gonna change again because it doesn't matter if we push it as this person right now. Okay, 35 seconds remaining. She's going in there, we're just gonna get another launcher ready. This one's gonna be perfect, it's gonna be Bear Taffy's gonna be like, I wanna read this guy's post-it notes to figure out what he eats for breakfast. Cause he's doing some amazing stuff right now. Just so gonna throw this down here. Perfect. Now we're gonna press F4. Gonna go back to being the greaser. I think this is actually gonna work. Plenty of time, by the way. Perfect, perfect, you got it. Oh, textbook! Catastrophic fails one! Well, you know what? I'll take it either way. Shopping expedition. What do you got for me this time? Body tempo automated surgery. Insert leg into hole. Alright, what could go wrong? Some people pay good money for that. Cyber legs successfully installed. Enjoy the new you. Just figured, you know, let's throw another one in there. Why not? What's next, though? Insert arm into hole. Okay. Cyber arms successfully installed. I don't think we need to do two. I'm just doing two for two's sake. Was it give me a little cyber head or something like that? A wink wink. Now insert your torso into the hole. Ready for the jelly bones operation. Okay, this, I mean, it seems a little dicey, but let's go for it. Don't even talk to me about what that looks like. Jelly bones successfully, successfully installed. Dr. Vapor. Hilarious. We've done it. Oh my god, we are so much faster. We are a creature unto ourselves. Goodbye. Yes, yes, goodbye. Um, yes, I see myself. I guess we have to go out to take the long way, if you know what I mean. Well, all we've done is completely change the way we play the game and turned ourselves into a super soldier. I think that's probably as good a point as any to say that that's it for today's episode of uh, Quadrilateral Cowboy. If you'll give me a moment, just save it up here. Now we are not a team anymore. We have a caser still, but then we just have us. Download the trunk line. This is a request, Mr. Radio Man. Oh, we got the far frame, we got the airship, we got the... Okay, fine. That's gonna do it for this episode, though. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.